Okay, so if you come to the front of your mat and find yourself in Tadasana, feet are hip distance apart. Lift your toes, spread them, really connect the feet into the floor, engage through the legs, tuck that tailbone under, roll those shoulders back and down, and lengthen through the crown of the head as you suck that navel back in towards the spine. Take three deep breaths, in through the nose, and then out through the mouth. Think about drawing that breath all the way down into the base of your stomach. Last one. Let those shoulders melt away from your ears. And then just return back to a normal rhythm. From here, we're going to inhale as we lift the hands all the way up above the head, interlace the fingers, press the palms up towards the ceiling. And we're just going to tilt from side to side for a side body stretch. Maybe three to five reps each side and then return back to neutral come back down soften the knees hinge at the hips come all the way down into your uttanasana forward fold and we'll take that ragdoll variation so opposite hand to opposite elbow crown of the head towards the floor and just gently swing from side to side open up those hips those glutes those hamstrings that lower back release everything off Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. Inhale as you lift the heels off the floor, chest to knee, thighs, nose to knees, finding your crouch curl position. And then exhale as you push up and back into your forward fold. We're just going to do this two more times. So inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to crouch or lift. Exhale to fold. From here, walk the feet all the way to the back of the mat. Find your down facing dog position and just gently pedal out through the feet, opening up the calves, the hips, the hamstrings. Walking the dog from side to side for just a few reps. And then gently come back to neutral with the feet. Think about pushing the heels towards the floor as you exhale. With the hands, spread the fingers. Press the crown of the head towards the floor, maybe soften the knees slightly with a bend and just gently pulse through the shoulders, opening up the heart, the thoracic spine, the shoulders and maybe a bit of the arms as well. And then gently come back to your regular down facing dog. From here we're going to inhale as we roll forwards, drop the knees and come into a kneeling position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And we're just going to take three cat cows. So inhale as you dip the stomach, squeeze the shoulder blades together, look up towards the ceiling. And then exhale as you round through the spine, sucking the navel up and back, pulling the shoulder blades apart. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Last one. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. From here, take the hands slightly further forward, tuck the toes, step, push up and back into your down facing dog. And we're gonna take a lizard lunge. So we're gonna take the right foot outside of the right hand, reach the heart forwards and send that knee out to the side, feel that stretch. Step back to down facing dog and then left foot is gonna come outside of left hand, reach the heart forwards, feel that stretch as you send the knee out towards the side step back to down facing dog. Option to have the knee on the floor or not for that one. We're going to do that four more times, so five each side. So right foot to right hand, option to keep the knee lifted or to the floor, send that knee out to the side. Step back to down facing dog. So just moving steadily in your own time. If you're keeping the knee lifted, really think about engaging that quad and squeezing that knee away from the floor. So just working your way through, maybe taking a moment or two in that down facing dog to feel the stretch in the shoulders, last one each side. And then come back to your down facing dog, walk the feet all the way in towards the hands, come into your Uttanasana forward fold and just take a moment again in ragdoll, rock from side to side. Open up those hips 
and then inhale as you come all the way up, extend the Tadasana, exhale, release. We're just going to finish with a few fingers and wrist churns and ankle churns for the warm-up. So interlace the fingers, clasp the hands together, and we're just going to rotate through the wrist like so. Whilst you're doing that, stand on one leg and rotate one ankle or one foot, maybe 10 circles on one foot. And then once you've done those, when you've done that foot, switch over, keep the wrists going and do 10 circles on the other foot. See if you can keep the wrists going, it's quite difficult to manage that coordination. <laughs> when you've done 10 circles on both feet in both directions, uh, well just one direction is fine, come back to your regular Tadasana pose, reset and we'll get ready to begin. So this class we're going to do four rounds of sun salutation sequence A and then four rounds of sun salutation sequence C which is the vinyasa um, ashtanga sorry warm-up or opening sequence and then we're going to follow it with our own mini flow to finish. So finding yourself in that um, regular Tadasana stance. Take a nice deep breath in, let those shoulders roll back and down and then when you're ready we're going to inhale, lifting the arms up high, reaching up into that extended Tadasana. Soften the knees, hinge at the hips, come all the way down into your Uttanasana forward fold. So for the first round, we're just going to take three breaths per pose. Inhale to find length. Exhale to fold deeper. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, plant the hands on the floor. And on the next inhale, we're going to set the left foot back into a high or low lunge, yogi's choice. So if you're going high, squeeze that leg away from the floor. If you're going low, drop the knee to the floor. Think about opening up that hip flexor. Roll the shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, one more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, step back to down facing dog. You're here for three deep breaths, so maybe for this one, just pedal out through the feet. Open up those calves, those hips, those ankles. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you roll forwards to high plank. Option to drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. And then inhale as you press up to Sphinx or Cobra. So if you're in Cobra or Sphinx, you're going to point your toes, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs. Sphinx is a little less intense on the lower back, so just come down onto your elbows if you need to. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back into your down facing dog. As we're here for three deep breaths, we're going to focus on the shoulders this time, bend at the knees and just gently pulse through the arms, pressing the crown of the head towards the floor, opening up that thoracic spine. Last deep breath all the way in, find length, exhale, push those heels towards the floor and then on the next inhale, look forward, step the left foot through between the hands, find your high or low lunge. Dropping that back knee to the floor if you want to, yogi's choice. Roll those shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards, take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in again. And then as you exhale, step through to Uttanasana, forward fold. Three deep breaths, inhale to find length. Exhale to fold deeper. One last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come all the way up, extend the Tadasana. Exhale, release the arms, reset, and we're coming into round two. So inhale, extend the Tadasana, two breaths per pose this time. Exhale, forward fold all the way down into your Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, find length. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, right foot goes back, high or low lunge. Roll the shoulders back and down. Eye goes forwards. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, step back to down facing dog. Press through the hands as you inhale, find length in that tailbone. Exhale as you push the heels towards the floor. And then inhale as you roll forwards to high plank. Option to drop the knees. Exhale, low plank or knees chest chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back 
to down facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in again, find length from the spine, exhale, push the heels towards the floor. And then on the next inhale, right foot comes through the hands, high or low lunge, yogi's choice. Roll those shoulders back and down, eye gaze forwards, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, step through to Uttanasana, forward fold. Find a nice deep breath, find length in the spine. Exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale as we come all the way up. Extended to Dasana. We're now at one breath per pose. So if you get lost, just move and breathe. That's fine. Exhale, come all the way down. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, left foot goes back. High or low lunge, yogi's choice. Exhale, right foot goes back. Down facing dog. Inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knee stretch chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. Inhale, left foot comes through, high or low lunge, yogi's choice. Exhale, uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way up, extend to uttanasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips, come all the way back down, come into your uttanasana, forward fold, fourth and final round. Inhale, right leg goes back, high or low lunge. Exhale, step back to down facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, right foot comes through, high or low lunge. Exhale, left foot comes through, uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way up, extend it to asana. Exhale, reset. And we'll begin with sun salutations. We'll begin our round of sun salutation C. So, slightly different, slightly more advanced, but feel free if you don't like it, just go back to the ones that we've just been doing for a further four rounds instead. They're roughly the same length. So, from here, we're going to set ourselves up in our extended, to, uh, in our regular Tadasana pose. Inhale, lift the hands up above the head for extended Tadasana. Exhale, sit back into chair pose this time. So squeeze the core, tuck that tailbone under, shoulders come back and down. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold. Coming all the way into your Uttanasana forward fold. From here, you've got the option to step or hop back to plank. And then we're going to exhale as we come all the way down to low plank or knees, chest, chin. And then press up to cobra or up dog, yogi's choice. Take it to where you need to go. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. And then inhale as we take that right leg up high to the sky, three leg down facing dog. Swing the leg through, plant it between the hands, set yourself up in your warrior pose. So back foot goes down at a 45 degree angle. Front toes are facing forwards, find your steady stance. And then inhale to lift up into warrior one. Squeeze the glutes, tuck that tailbone under, have a nice vertical torso, pull those shoulders back and down. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. Step back to your down facing dog and we're going to do the same on the other side. So inhale, left leg goes high to the sky. Three leg dog, swing the leg through, plant the foot down, back foot 45 degree angle. Set yourself up, inhale, warrior one. On the other side. Exhale, release the hands. Step back to down facing dog and we'll take a vinyasa or chaturanga. So for this one, I'll demonstrate the vinyasa. The next one, I'll demonstrate the chaturanga. So inhale, roll forward for your vinyasa to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Flip the toes, press up to cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to your down facing dog. And then option to step or hop forwards to your uttanasana forward fold. Take a nice deep breath in, find length in the spine. Exhale, fold deeper, and then inhale, come up to chair, catch it low. And then inhale to lift, exhale, release the hands, <laughs> reset, and we'll do another round. So we've got three more rounds to go. Inhale, extend it to dasana, exhale, sit back into chair pose. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold, uttanasana, forward fold. This time we're going to add a halfway lift, so inhale, Slide the hands up the shins, find your flat back tabletop position, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold down into your Uttanasana, forward fold. Option to step or hop back, catch in plank. 
and then we're going to take that vinyasa. So exhale, open ankle, knees, chest, chin, flip the toes, press up to cobra or up dog. Sphinx is also still an option. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog, and we're back to those warrior ones. So inhale, right leg goes high to the sky, swing the leg through, exhale, find your warrior one stance, and then when you're ready, inhale to lift. Exhale, release the hands, frame the feet, step back to down facing dog. Warrior one on the left side. So inhale, three leg down facing dog. Exhale, plant the feet, set yourself up. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, release, step back to your down facing dog. And this time I will demonstrate the chaturanga. So chaturanga, feel free to stick with the vinyasa for now if you want to. You're going to scoop the chest through and push up into cobra or up dog, whichever you prefer. And then tuck the toes and everyone joins us back in down facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then step or hop to the front of the mat as you exhale into your Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale, catch and chair. Exhale, sit back. Inhale to lift, exhale, release. Reset, we've got two more rounds. So you've got your variations now. Pick the level you want to stick with or go back to those first original sun salutations if you need to. Inhale, extend to Dasana. Exhale, sit back into chair. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. And then step or hop back to plank as you exhale. Come all the way down to the floor. Inhale, press up to cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press all the way back to down facing dog. And we're back to those warrior ones. So right foot goes high to the sky. Three leg down facing dog, swing the leg through. Plant it between the hands, back foot goes down at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, warrior one on the right side. Exhale, release the hands, step back to your down facing dog, left side, inhale, left leg goes up and back, three leg dog, swing the leg through, plant the feet, exhale, inhale, warrior one, left side, exhale, release, step back to your down facing dog, vinyasa or chaturanga, yogi's choice, scooping through, pressing up to cobra or up dog, and then tucking the toes, pressing back to down facing dog. Option now to step or hop to the front of your mat. <laughs> Try and catch yourself before you send yourself flying. And then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair. Exhale, sink deeper. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release. Reset, last round. Inhale, extend it to asana. Exhale, sit back into chair pose. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold. All the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold all the way back down. Plant the hands, step or hop, catch and plank. Exhale, low plank on knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press to cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. Inhale, right leg goes high to the sky. Three leg down facing dog. Swing the leg through, plant it between the hands. Back foot goes down, 45 degree angle, warrior one. As we inhale. Exhale, release. Step back to down facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes high to the sky. Three leg down facing dog. Swing the leg through, plant it between the hands. Set those feet up in that warrior one stance. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release. Step back to your down facing dog. So we're back to that chaturanga or vinyasa, yogi's choice. Take your pick. We'll all meet in up dog and cobra and then push back together to down facing dog. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, bend at the knees, look forward, step or hop to your Uttanasana. Forward fold as you exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale, come up to chair. Exhale, sit deeper. Inhale to lift, exhale, release the hands. Shake it all out and you should be feeling quite warm, <laughs> hopefully. So today we're gonna go through a short mini flow to finish. Um, and we're gonna go into either um, wild thing if you feel comfortable or just a hip bridge. So I will show you 
the variations as we go for that. So just take your time. If you don't feel like you can do it, that's absolutely fine. Skip that pose. So that's the one pose people might struggle with, but you should be okay with the variations. So from here, we're gonna work our way all the way back down to down facing dog. So inhale, extend it to dasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips, come all the way down into your Uttanasana forward fold. Option now to step or hop back to your plank pose and we'll take that vinyasa. So exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. And then exhale, tuck the toes and press back to your down facing dog. From here, we're gonna go into our three leg down facing dog. So right leg goes high to the sky for the first round. Bend at the knee if you want to, play with that hip twist. And then we're gonna bring that leg all the way through into your um, crescent lunge. So we're gonna drop the back knee to the floor. And then we're going to inhale to lift the hands up. Exhale, lift the heart towards the ceiling, eye gaze up. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release that back hand to that back thigh. Inhale to lift the other, the right hand up towards the ceiling and then exhale to go back into your kind of variation on that reverse warrior. Inhale, come all the way back up and round with those arms, frame the foot, sorry. And then we're gonna step back to, down, uh, to that plank position and we're gonna go into a side plank. So take the right hand and foot into the center of the plank, uh, mat and then stack either foot on top, in front, behind, knee to the floor if you need to. Wherever you need to do, push the ground away. From here, find your side plank, and then we're gonna lift that back leg, take it behind us, option to come to the floor with the hip, and then push up into wild bin. If you just want to do the hip tap, and then come up to there, that's absolutely fine. Wherever you are, give it these choice, and then inhales, come all the way back up and over, find yourself in down facing dog, and we're back to that vinyasa. So inhale, roll forward to high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to down facing dog. And we're on to the other side. Left leg goes high to the sky, three leg down facing dog. Swing the leg through, plant it between the hands. Find your low lunge position. Roll those shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift the hands up, reaching up high, present lunge, heart to the ceiling, the eyes to the sky. Inhale to lift, exhale, release the back hand to the back leg. Inhale to lift and reach with that left hand this time up towards the ceiling. Exhale, find your reverse warrior variation. And then inhale to lift, exhale as you windmill the arms all the way up and over, frame that foot. Step back to that side, uh, down facing dog and then set yourself up in a side plank on the other side. So left hand comes underneath the shoulder, left foot, stacking the feet on top. One behind, one behind the other, wherever you need to be, knee to the floor. Find your side plank and then take that foot behind you, that top leg, that right leg, finding your hip thrust position or lifting all the way into that wild thing pose. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then come all the way back up and over as you inhale, finding yourself in that down facing dog, pedal out the feet. And then we'll just drop to the knees and sit back in extended child's pose to cool down. So just catch your breath, bring your forehead to the floor, sit back on your heels, and take three deep breaths. Focus on expanding into that upper back. And then when you're ready, on that last deep breath all the way in, walk the hands as you exhale all the way over to the left. Stretch out that right side body. Two deep breaths. From here, after you've taken that second deep breath, as you inhale, walk the hands all the way back to centre. And as you exhale, walk the hands all the way back over towards the right. Feel that stretch in the left side body. Two more deep breaths. When you take those two deep breaths, walk the hands all the way back to the front again. Come up onto your hands and knees. Swivel yourself around into a seated position on the center of your mat. 
Take the legs straight out in front of you. Flex the toes back towards you. Pull the fleshy bits out of your bum, out from underneath your sit bones. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale as you hinge at the hips and fold forwards, bringing chest to thighs, nose towards toes. Three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come all the way back up. Slide your bum down towards your heels. Come onto your back. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Hug them in tight for Apanasana. Just gently rock from side to side. Massage that lower back. And then when you're ready, just take your hands out wide in a T-shaped position. And drop your toes to the floor. Keep your heels lifted. We'll just finish with a few window wipers, dropping the knees from side to side, releasing off the hips and the spine. Maybe five or six rotations each side. And then just gently bring the knees all the way back in towards the chest, hug them in tight with your arms. Rock from side to side, massage that lower back. And then when you're ready, just gently roll over onto the right side of your body. Come all the way up to seated. Find yourself in the center of the mat one last time in a seated position as we inhale, bringing the hands up above the head, palms together at the top. As we exhale, bringing the hands to the forehead, kind thoughts, to the lips, kind words, to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.